Hello everyone, GBA049 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, not Blue Rescue Team, sorry, I'm so used to that. Wait, I'm never used to that. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. There we go. Gotta just try not to get those two mixed up. Before we begin, I feel like uh, adjusting the screen settings real quick. Because apparently the bottom screen, you can barely see on the top left corner there. Um, maybe I could... No. Maybe I could use this one? Probably not? I don't know. Definitely not that. That's, that's dumb. That is also dumb. Um, maybe I could use this one? Probably? Maybe. Sure. Why not? Let's do this. A little awkward, but, uh... Wait, what? Okay, this is really weird. Whoa. This is a little touchy. Hmm, maybe I could do this one, probably, while holding my Wii U gamepad s slightly sideways, or vertically. I guess I can do it, yeah, let's go. Ahem. Everyone, listen up. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into its outermost reaches, there lies a place named Tree Shroud Forest. In Tree Shroud Forest, time has apparently stopped. Huh? Eek! What did you say? You're saying time stopped? Hey, hey, hey! Yes, that is correct. Time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. The wind has stopped. The clouds are motionless. Dewdrops on leaves won't fall. They just hang there, suspended. In Tree Shard Forest, time itself has truly stopped. T -t time has stopped? But how could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable. Yes, the unthinkable has happened. Why has time stopped in Tree Shard Forest? Well, it's because Tree Shroud's forest time gear was stolen. Huh? The time gear was stolen? That's what made time stop. Hey, hey, hey. I'd heard it was possible, but now it's really happened. I don't get it, though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Quiet, everyone. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare to steal a time gear. But if, but if one time gear can be stolen, the others may also be in danger. The officer asks to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So keep that in mind. Let us know if you notice anything. That is all. Alright everyone, here's to another busy day of work. Oh. And you're still energetic. Cool. Oh, you there. You two, come here. Uh-oh, music stopped. What does this mean? You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. So, you all will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Hooray! Let me see your wonder map. I opened the wonder map. Yes, I did. Treasure Town is here, and over here is where we would is where we would like you to investigate. See, there's a waterfall flowing here, but by all appearances, it just it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've received intelligence that the waterfall may conceal a secret, and that's where you come in. We want you lot to investigate the waterfall to determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what this mission entails? Understood. Good. All right, I'll leave you all to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Huh? What's wrong? 
You're shivering. Uh, are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's making me nervous. This will be the first time we get to do a real job as an exploration team. I'm feeling a little worked up. Oh, I feel like I'm going to burst from excitement. Let's do our best, GBA. Yay. We. It's kind of hard to control the control everything with a freaking stylus. Oh, GBA and Shinx too. Huh? What's Chimeco doing there? Hello. What's going on here? I just started an assembly here today, in fact. Assembly? Yes. For assembling your team. Have you ever considered adding members, Shinx? Other members? Well, sure. It'd be cool to add other members. If there were more than just the two of us, it sure would help when we explore dungeons. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. Oh? How do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you, Team Soul Force. Here it goes. Hey ya! Chimeco rang the friendship bell. Now, Team Soul Force has the power to recruit new members. Really? Yes, from now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from some of them. And those Pokemon will then ask to join Team Soul Force. Once you've recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. Bring a Pokemon along, visit my assembly, and choose which members should join your team for the exploration. Always see me when you want to assemble a team that includes recruits. Oh, wow! Thanks, Chimeco! Or in this case, just use them as a PC and never touch them ever. You know, I actually kind of really like the uh, friend area. Uh, you know... The friend area... Uh, how should I say this? What's the word? Friend area mechanic, yeah. Kind of messed that up. What does Beedoo have to say about this? Huh? Y'all have been assigned to investigate the wa that waterfall? It'll be your first exploration. I'm pulling for you to succeed, by gosh! Now you all dig into that challenge really hard now. Why isn't you all shortened into y'all, since I'm pretty sure he has a southern voice? I'm pretty sure. Our leader is always nervous around fire, but that's a small thing compared to all the positives. So I'm happy to support our leader through thick, through thicker, through thicker thing. Ponyta and Ponyta and I are great at using fire-based attacks, as you can imagine. But we leave swirling fire in our in our wake as we fight, and that scares our leader. I think our leader has lost confidence because of this, but I don't know what we can do about it. We're Team Flame. I'm the leader. I don't like to admit it, but I'm very timid. When my team members start fighting with fire, I can't do a thing but stand back and hope I don't get hit. Ugh. I feel so pathetic. That's sad, to be honest. Exploring is too much effort. No, come on. We're Team Slacker. We're the Zero Motivation Exploration Team. Interesting. Interesting to know that you're an exploration team that does absolutely nothing. My god. These controls really freaking want me. Huh? What's going on? Oh, this is new. There are stairs here. There's something written on the sign. Huh? What? Spindus Cafe, a shop of hopes and dreams. Oh, shop of hopes and dreams. Opening soon. Win big. It says. Looks like a new shop will be opening soon. But hopes and dreams? I wonder what kind of shop this will be. <laughs> Undertale. Nah, I'm joking. I had to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Let's come back after it's open and find out. 
What door? It's a hole. Oh wait, it's a door down there, of course. Oh my god. Welcome to the Skull Bank. I'm just gonna go deposit everything here. I'm not used to not using buttons at all. We slash our way through deep woods with our sharp claws. Interesting. We like finding new places where no one's gone before. Fascinating. We're Team Razor Wind. We're the Sharp Claw Trio. Oh, another great day. By the way, you two. Do you know Marowak Dojo? Marowak Dojo? Marowak Dojo is a place where exploration teams go to hone their skills. Actually, and everything was peaceful, there wasn't much need for its services. Sensei couldn't pay for its, up for its upkeep. And it eventually collapsed. What? But... Let there be rejoicing. That Marowak Dojo, it's been, resurrected, it's been resurrected from the rubble. Back it better than ever under new management. And uh, I'm going around advertising the dojo reopening for my sponsor, Marowak. Marowak Dojo is straight down from, from here. You two are an exploration team, right? Why don't you go test yourselves at the dojo? You know, the dojo, to be honest, isn't really that good of a place to start grinding on levels. It's... Not really all that useful, to be honest. What, you're not gonna speak to the freaking Poochiana? Come on, do it. Shop down he down from here looks unoccupied now. Not in business yet, I guess. So we're trying to should we buy today. We're trying to buy only cheaper items that have the greatest value. Wouldn't that be the expensive items? Okay. Ugh. The L's on my freaking palm. The L button is on the freaking palm of my hand. Seriously. The bottom palm. Or, wait, I don't need that. Uh, let's see here. Pull back orb. There we go. I wonder. If there's a YouTube video of of a soundtrack, well, not really, not really much of a soundtrack, but sound effects of nothing but this. To be honest, I would listen to that all day because it just sounds so peaceful and I love it. Oh, and see, let's pile these right there. We'll go there eventually. Oh, look, the trio's here. Let's see so vast. We wish that we were like the sea before us. Expansive. Deep of heart. Oh sea, hear me. Oh sea, teach me. Oh sea, understand me. You are a ground type and you're probably that what, what you're doing is probably suicide. Let's go. We are going to Secret Waterfall. Sure, let's go. So this is the waterfall that supposedly has a secret. Yeah! That water's coming down hard. Try getting close to the waterfall, GBA. It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stay. I can barely stay standing near this deluge. Yeah. See, it's intense. If you were to fall under this waterfall, you'd probably be battered. And I think it would be pouring down this powerfully. Where should we even start looking? <sighs> Something seems familiar. It's a dizziness I've felt before. Oh. Apparently Wiggly Tough freaking got in here.
It happened again. I saw something. But what did I just see? Huh? What's the matter, GBA? What? You had another vision? This time you saw a lone Pokemon leap into this waterfall? Not only that, there's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Hmm. It looks like the water is coming down really heavily. Imagine if there was actually a solid cliff wall behind that waterfall. Ouch. If you tried to jump through, you'd be pounded badly. So, GBA. What do you think, GBA? Is there really something behind this waterfall? Are you really convinced that there's a cave there? Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, GBA. Yes, I totally believe in you, GBA. Yikes! <sighs> okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through at full speed, I'll be smushed no matter what I do. If I'm doing it, I have to do it without hesitating. Be brave. Be the bravest ever! Ready? Let's go, GBA! Three, two, one, now! <laughs> Sorry, I can't really scream that loud. Yeah, ow, ow, ow. What is this? Yes! It's a cave! You were right after all, GBA. Let's go explore this cave, GBA. Let's see what secrets it holds. Let's go. Waterfall cave. My god. Okay, okay, I gotta be honest with something. Um, when I first played Undertale, I know this is a little bit uh, irrelevant, but I, I, I just gotta, I just gotta be honest with something. When I first heard the soundtrack Waterfall, this, the soundtrack Waterfall instantly reminded me of this theme that's playing right now. It just sounds so similar, you know? And that's uh, the first thing that came to mind when I first heard it. Quiet. A little bit soothing and short. Thanks. Uh, what's the button to press for that? I seriously have to wait. What? Hold on. Oh, I have to tap myself in order to select moves. Okay, I can do that. This is going to be a little bit uh, awkward. Oh, double tap to do that. Okay, sure. Double tap to use your set move. And Grimer joined the team. Come on along. Uh, no. Yay, Grimer joined the team. Please try not to kill yourself. And be careful. If I recall correctly, in this game, you can recruit as many Pokemon as you can, regardless of how many you have on your team. Well, not all of them join you immediately. They just go back to Treasure Town and, you know, just hang out at wherever Chimeco keeps the recruited Pokemon that you have. It's really mysterious. I'm definitely not going to get used to this. <laughs> oh my god. That did a shit ton of damage. And slowed me down quite a bit. Where's the Wonder Tile? Oh, hi, Sir Skit. How you doing today? Soul Force. Oh. So that's how you're doing. I don't know how many floors this has. 
<laughs> standing right below it. Right above it. Oh, jeez. Gotcha. Ah. You can help me with something at least. Or not. That works. Whatever works. Oh, it's a shop. But I don't have any money. I barely have any. I wonder if I could buy anything. Don't be a dick. Do not be a dick. Why is a cherry berry 80 poke and an apple 25? Makes no sense. Yes. Okay. I got the freaking apple. And goodbye. Best thing you want to do is steal from that bastard. Probably, Ke okay, Kecleon in the Mystery Dungeon series is the most powerful Pokemon ever. Screw, screw the freaking legendaries. Kecleon, you should not fuck with at all. Unless you're freaking, unless you're freaking, uh, I don't know, like brave enough or determined enough to actually freaking recruit one. It's the strongest Pokemon and the hardest Pokemon. Well, not the hardest Pokemon, but you know what I mean. The hardest Pokemon to recruit in the freaking, in the entire freaking series. I mean, come on. Okay. Kind of, it feels kind of weird to freaking. Uh, just to hold the Wii U gamepad on your left hand and use your legs as some kind of rester for it and have the stylus in, 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 in your other hand and and while the stylus is in your other hand you need to use your freaking you need to use that other hand to control the freaking C stick when the stylus is in your hand which is pretty freaking weird. Increase my IQ with that. If I recall correctly, I gotta stop saying that. It's over. Wow, look at that, GBA. Look at all the gems sparkling. Whoa, look over there. It's a gigantic gem. Wow! I've never seen a gem this huge. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone would be amazed if we take this back. Shanks tried to grab the giant gem. Nope, it's not budging. It's really stuck tight. Can you give it a try, GBA? Give you a tech over and try to pull up the gigantic gym. Whoa! This is really stuck. It won't budge. Ugh. Ugh. Nope, no good. So you couldn't move it either, GBA. But we can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. I'm going to give it another go, GBA. Shanks tried to pull out the gigantic gem again. Hmm. It's not budging one bit. Huh? Oh no. It's happening again. It's...
But that was... It's no good. I can't pull it out. Six just happened to push the gigantic gem. Ah! That's... Huh? What's going on? Ah! That's a flood! Ah! Still can't scream that loud. Oh no! Huh? What? Where are we? Hi, hi! Are you two okay? You plopped down from nowhere. Oh, you startled everyone. Meanwhile, Grimer's just there. Being jealous, because if he gets in there, he'll just freaking... melt. And probably make the entire freaking hot spring rancid shit. Where are we? This is the hot spring. Hot spring? Indeed, this is the hot spring. The hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster. Have you a map? Map? Oh, if you mean our wonder map, yes, we have one. Unfold it for me. There. We are we are here. This is the hot springs location. Oh, I see. The waterfall is here, so. Hey, check this out, GBA! The water carried us all the way over here. My goodness! It was the water that carried you all this way? What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you walk your way before you make your way home. Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks everyone. Yes. Let me see if I got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there's a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there's a gigantic gem. When you push on the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind. And surprisingly, you were flushed off to the distant hot spring? Is that the gist of your report? Yes. It's really disappointing that we couldn't bring the gem back. No, no, no! Empathetically, no! This is a major discovery! Really? Undoubtedly! After all the presence of the cave behind the waterfall, no one knew about that before now. Oh, I see. We made a discovery. When I had those dizzy spells, the shadow of that Pokemon I saw. It was Wigglytuff. That shape. I've seen that shape before. That shape. There's no mistaking it. That was wiggly tough. Your waterfall discovery is just amazing. The guildmaster must be told. What? What's wrong, GPA? Huh? You're saying wiggly tough may have been at that waterfall before? No, 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 empathetically, no. That's inconceivable. If that were so, the guildmaster would have ordered you to investigate the place, right? Hmm. However, since you insist, I will confirm with the guildmaster. Hmm. Why would they want to spoil their own discovery? How strange. I should be used to it by now. These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? What was that, Chatot? <gasps> what? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Anyway. I will anyway, I will go confirm what you told me what you told me with the guildmaster. Please wait here. So how did it go? When I asked the guildmaster, he mulled it over for a bit. And then he said Oh memories, sweet memories. Yo ta Then he danced around a bit. And then he said Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what the guildmaster said. Summon up, it's just as GBA suspected. 
He has indeed already been to Waterfall Cave. Oh, okay. That's kind of disappointing. We really thought we'd discovered a new place. I wish Wiggly, I wish Wigglytuff had told us right from the start. Go Master can be rather uh, erratic at times. Even I can't fa even I can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Well, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Aww. Wigglytuff is so damn weird. Probably one of the weirdest video game characters. One of the most video weirdest video game characters I've ever seen. Today was exhausting. I should get to, I should get to sleep early. <sighs> I went through a lot today. But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Sure, there was that huge letdown. But it was our first ex but it was our first exploration. I thought it was going to explode from excitement and anticipation the whole time. I didn't realize I had the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's a dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely fade from sheer happiness. <laughs> but seriously, thanks. I can, I can explore because of you, TBA. Yes. I'm the biggest chicken around, and even, and even I managed to work up the courage. It was all because you were with, with me, GBA. Seriously, GBA, thanks. Oh, yeah. You know, I was thinking. I noticed something about your dizzy spells, GBA. You always seem to be touching something when they happen. Come to think of it, Shinx is right. But I heard Azuril's dream. Azuril's scream. that other time we were exploring waterfall cave it it's true it was it was always after touching something that's when i got those dizzy spells when i touched something I see something connected to it, right? There's one more thing. When you rescued Azuru, you had a vision of the future. But this time, you saw Wigglytuff going into the cave, right? So that means... This time, you saw an event that occurred in the past. That's true! In other words, GBA, if you touch something, you, would s you see its past or future. You see its past or future. You must have that, you must have that kind of special ability. This could be something totally incredible. You can use it in lots of ways. Not just for exploring, either. The ability can be used for, for many things. It's fantastic, GBA. Well, yes. I guess that's true. But that doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It'd be useful if it could have visions when I wanted, but... Hey, you two! The Guild Master wants to see you right away. Good master, I brought you Team Soul Force. Oh. I already know what's gonna happen. She's just gonna just scare the shit out of everyone by just saying hiya. Guildmaster. A guildmaster? Hiya! Yep, knew it. Your team went through a lot today. Yes, a lot, lot. But don't worry, I'm keeping watch on your activities. I should tell you why I, I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning to mount a full expedition soon. An expedition? Yes, the, yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. And carefully choose which guild members go on the expedition. Really? Usually we would never ever consider rookies to be expedition members. But you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special ex exception this time. We decided to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. Really? Now, now! You haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There's still time before we set out on the expedition. 
If you fail to do good work before then, you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two can do it. Try hard. Yes. An expedition. Isn't it fantastic, GBA? My heart is pounding all of a sudden. Let's try our best and make sure we get picked for the expedition. Chapter 6, Team Skull. <coughs> hmm. Wow. Okay. Up and at him. It's morning. Ugh. Good morning, GBA. <laughs> oh my god, that face never gets old. Save and continue. Because apparently there's shit going, ar going, ar going on around here, so let's go. Ahem. As I was explaining, there's a, there's a lake far to the east. There are many aspects of that lake that remain mysterious. We hope to unravel those mysteries. And so, our guild is planning to mount an expedition for the first time in a while. An expedition, you say? Yes, please. Yes, sir. It's been a long time since we went on an expedition. But that means you're going to be picking members for the expedition from all of us here, right? Precisely. We will depart in several days. Over these next few days, we will choose the most worthy apprentices. Those members will form the, ex the expedition. Everyone, everyone, work hard so that you may be chosen for the expedition. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! Yup, yup. I've yet to go on an expedition. I would sure love to go this time. Let's work out and get picked as members. All right, everyone, it's back to work as usual. Never before have I ever heard or seen anyone that is that excited to go to work. Especially all at once. Especially in their feelings of, of how they, of like, time to go to work. Yes, me, when it's time to go to work. Oh, uh, five more minutes, please. You know? Ah, you too. Today, I want you to I want you two to check the job bulletin board at the outlining board and handle their listed jobs. That will do for now. Well, so apparently, chapter six is less than that. Chapter six is involving Team Skull. Uh, I'm not going to really spoil anything yet but until then this this adventure of exploring and finding treasure and the story my god the story this game is amazing and soundtracks is finally going to begin and we're going, and we're soon going on a freaking road trip, so look forward to seeing that. Until then, this is GPA049 signing out. Going offline. See you next mission. Okay, maybe I am stealing uh, Emerald Gamer 64's farewell every time when we end the video. Please excuse me for that. I guess it's fine.